Alright, this one's going to be for Ubuntu 11.04 users, and you want to use uh, or you want to upgrade to GNOME shells or GNOME 3. Alright, um, when you do this, it's kind of like a permanent thing. You cannot use Unity and GNOME shells at the same time. The reason for that is that uh, Ubuntu 11.04 is using GNOME 2. Okay, when you do this, you're using GNOME 3. Right, so there's a transition there. Uh, so what you're going to do is uh, just follow this guide here. Uh, if you never follow a guide like this before, all you really got to do is copy and paste. If you can do that, you'll be successful. And what I mean by copy and paste, if I tell you to copy this line or whatever, right, you're going to do is bust out your terminal, and guess what you got to do? Paste it in there, and hit enter. You, you, some, you know, sometimes you have to type in your password or whatever. Just go ahead and do it, and when that step is done, you go on to the next one, copy and paste that sucker, push enter, do the same shit again. All right, it's, that's that simple. So let's uh, begin here. This one, um, copy and paste. It'll add the PPA for GNOME 3 and the GNOME shells. Uh, then we're gonna do an update to refresh our list, and then we're gonna do uh, a disk upgrade. Basically, the, this part is gonna take like probably the longest, I guess because you're going from GNOME 2 to GNOME 3 all right? and then we're going to install the GNOME shells and the GNOME session here that's pretty much it this bottom part 3 here you don't really need um, I guess he puts it in there because he wants uh, you know some people are having problems or whatever but you don't really need those 3 down there next thing uh, I see a lot of people do screencasts on GNOME shells but they're still using that raggedy ass uh, old themes on there and uh, the proper way to do this is remove the old themes so you're removing uh, this thing here, the GNOME accessibility themes and you want to install the GNOME shells uh, themes that they're using okay so this is the thing that you have to install here GNOME theme standard and it'll look something like this otherwise if you do it wrong then it won't look like this okay this is how it's supposed to look like Okay, uh, so that's it for that. And then just go ahead and do a reboot, -y. and then you know after you boot up again, uh, you might have to like select from the list, you know, at your login screen or whatever to to use GNOME shells. Anyways, after you have that, uh, what is recommended here is to install the GNOME uh, was it tweak tool. And the reason for this. Is that uh, you can actually tweak some stuff, but uh, but let me show you what uh, you should do in here. Um, make sure all the GTK themes, right, or all the themes. I mean, uh, is set to add what the I think that's how you say it. Add wait the I don't know, but make sure it's all the same, right? This is what they're using by default on uh, GNOME 3. Okay, see, same name. In the Windows, also make sure is is that. Uh, and then you'll see like something like I showed you earlier it'll be like this even this home part right here this little thing it should look exactly like mine if it doesn't that means you didn't set it like that way okay that's all you gotta do in there there's other extra stuff you can do but uh, we're just gonna set the themes to how it looks like and that, that's pretty much it for this guide here but here's some extra stuff that I think you should do also so let me tell you about that so let's bust out your terminal and continue our steps. So what you want to do is uh, sudo app get um, purge unity because you're not going to use unity anymore. Might as well just purge it out. So if they ask you to upgrade or something, you're not going to waste your time because you're not gonna, you're not going to be able to use it anyways. So purge unity because you're not using it. Another thing is that you know they don't really have the overlaying scroll bars. Right? They have these simple scroll bars here. Uh, I'll show you here. Let's make it smaller or something. Oh shoot, it's not small. I'll show you that later. But what you also want to purge is um, if you don't want to use the overlaying scroll bars, is just type in scroll bars uh, and then push the star here, and that's it. Purge that stupid ass thing, and you have the themes like it's supposed to be on uh, GNOME 3 yeah, using GNOME shells. Okay. That's pretty much it for the whole guide. If you can follow all that stuff that I just told you about, 
and you'll have the same exact desktop I'm having right now right with the perfect themes and everything uh, that's about it for this guide